Y'all, I'm going to do a very simple paint technique on this table, but what I'm dying to tell y'all is the story of how I experienced DIY paint for the first time and the whole process of how everything happened. That was a little over um, two and a half years ago or almost two and a half years ago. I'm gonna try to use just two colors. I'm gonna use some of my favorite combinations of colors because obviously you can mix colors and get a custom color. But if you only wanna use two DIY paint colors, I'm gonna show you how to do that with Old 57 and Queen Bee, which is my two favorite to mix and get the most glorious custom green color. So as I'm painting, I will tell you my story, y'all. First thing you do when you get a piece of furniture, y'all, is clean it. And it can be as easy as using um, simple green on a damp rag. You want to wipe the whole thing down and get it clean. If it doesn't have too much on it, you can take um, just a light rag and just clean it. You don't have to do any other prep work with DIY paint, y'all. I will get to my story. <laughs> You're going to laugh because it is very funny. So let me just start painting this so you can see. Now, I do use my DIY insider brush um, a lot, and also I have a blending brush out here, but we're just gonna paint the top, y'all. Super, super easy, and then I'll talk more when I do the bottom, and I'll get into my story. Okay, so when I'm doing my first coat, I'm just using a little tiny bit, little tiny bit of paint. And I'm just gonna put it on, and I like to say full force. I'm not gonna use water, not gonna use water just yet, but I will. That's part of my story. <laughs> okay, let me tell you, let me tell you the story why I'm doing this. Yeah, you all can see. I don't need to move my thing up. So um Last week when I was on here, I told you a little bit about my story that I started off as a photographer, right? I've been doing photography for a while, and people were asking me if I could um, sell, my, sell my art. And I'm like, well, of course. And so a place that had asked me to set up a display said, can you paint? Can you paint a display, Renee? And I'm like, well, sure I can. Now, I used to paint over 20 years ago, y'all. I was all into all that kind of stuff. Former military family, we moved all the time. The best way to um, create new looks in your house when you're moving, or if your things get chipped up, bumped up, getting thrown on and off, um, we moved 10 times in 12 years with the Marine Corps. So I would just paint. I would paint it and make it new again, make it make it fit the space that we had at the time. So just real fast, because I'm gonna keep talking and telling you what I'm doing. I'm just doing a basic coat. You can use a bigger brush, but I'm kind of just going on this and I am leaving it more of a stripey look. Let me show you. So I'm leaving it kind of stripey as I call it for my first coat because I want different layers and textures underneath. So I don't want it Say it, I don't want it all matchy matchy. So I'm just doing a really light coat of DIY paint and leaving it a little, a little stripey, okay? All right, so I started using several different kinds of paints. I am not gonna name the brands, but if you can think of any other national brand of chalk paint, I tried it. I tried a lot of them and I had settled on one. And I thought that I loved the paint. I discovered Debbie Beard when I had gotten back into painting on YouTube. And I would always, you know, type in chalk paint or upcycled furniture. And lo and behold, this adorable person would pop up on YouTube and I would watch her and just giggle like, oh my gosh, we could be best friends. This girl is hilarious. I love her energy. I love how she paints. So we just put a very light coat on the top and I didn't blend it perfect, perfect, okay? So that's what that looks like, okay? So I left it a little splotchy because I do like to do layers even though I'm only doing two colors. So that's super fast, super easy. So back to the story. So I discovered this DIY lady and then I'm like, oh, let me, I, let, let me try that paint. One day she's like, Renee, have you ever tried DIY paint. I'm like, that might be the only one <laughs> that I haven't tried. I had not made the connection at that time that DIY paint was this chick that I had been watching in California on YouTube, right? <laughs> so this is my story, y'all. 
So I took my little can and it was, um, it was um, Carnival Red. I took it home and I painted a little, like an old um, vintage magazine rack with it. And guess what? <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> I painted that and I'm looking at it going, oh, this is not doing what I wanted it to do. It's very different. And, um, I, and I hated it. I'm just gonna tell you, I did. So I went back up to Donna's and she's like, how'd you like the paint, Renee? And I go, I didn't. <laughs> She goes, well, how did you use it? And I said, well, just like I do all my other paints, I just painted it on. And then she's like, oh, there was your mistake. And she had told me and I wasn't listening. You need to blend with water if you're putting on a really thick coat of paint. Now, the difference between, y'all, I need a haircut and my hair is driving me crazy. I get it cut Friday. Anyway, sorry. The difference between DIY paint and those other chalk brand types, it's not self-leveling, but that's the beautiful thing about DIY paint, y'all. You don't want it to be self-leveling, meaning it's not gonna sit up on top of the surface like the other paints do. So when you first paint something, it's sitting up on top and it looks all, it's just laying there and it's kind of shiny, and it's and the, but it dries and then it's flat. DIY is the exact opposite, y'all. You don't want it to be self-leveling. You want it to get down in the nooks and the crannies. You want it to get into whatever you're painting so it bonds with that. And then it dries completely different to where you're gonna have that glorious look. But you wanna use very little paint, which was my mistake, y'all. I put on a huge gob of Carnival Red, full force, and just painted it flat like that. Well, of course, it's not going to look like when you go back and you look at our art and you look at our other things and you're thinking, well, that doesn't look anything like theirs. Did you put too much paint on? Did you not use any water whatsoever? Now, right now, I'm using tiny, tiny bits of one color, which is Old 57, very, very lightly. In order to blend your um, paint, you wanna do it with water. So I think I will go in, I'm just gonna use a little, um, a smaller one, and I'm gonna go down here on the legs. So let's go down here, go for a ride. You knew that was coming, y'all. You're like, when's our ride? So let's, let's just say like right in here. So that's when I would spray it, and that's when I would get that wet. And I would put ever so slightly paint on my paintbrush. You do not need a lot of paint. You do not need gobs and gobs of paint, which was one of my problems. So now I'm just gonna start tapping this on and it's almost making like a color wash and it's just very, very light. Now, right, right this second, I'm not blending the colors. I'm going right back in and I'm just slowly gonna come down and go across. So anytime, like this has those beautiful feet on it. Um, those are areas where I'm just gonna lightly tap on and brush. Let's go down in here, making sure y'all can see. Come down here, trying to stay off the camera. So two colors, Queen Bee, O57. And then I'm gonna blend these two colors to show you that beautiful custom color. And you wanna, you can spray throughout and just keep moving it around. Um, once I learned how to blend, it is just, again, it resonated with me doing, doing makeup. So you can always, and that's the way I teach, you can think of it that way. Don't think about it too much, just paint because you can go right back over it. You can go over it and you can erase what you don't like or what I teach in my group is walk away, walk away and revisit when your mind is fresh, when your eyes are fresh and you have a different perspective on it. You can come back and look at it the next day and go, oh, I like it. Or you can look at it and go, what was I thinking? And paint right back over it. Thanks for watching, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my story and learned some very basic tips and tricks when using DIY paint. You can catch me on my page, Funky Butterfly, and also on the DIY paint page every other Wednesday at 2 p.m.